what you consider to be an acceptable LDL level in primary prevention, that's in a person without cardiovascular disease, without diabetes, and who has two uh, more risk factors, what would be an acceptable LDL uh, cholesterol level. So would it be less than 160, one, less than 130, less than 100, less than 70, or some other value? Well, this is an interesting answer. It's not a, I don't think the answer to this question is that simple uh, because when you do Framingham risk assessment, uh, you categorize your patients either into the high risk, moderately high risk, or moderate risk. And if they fall into the high risk category, they should have an LDL less than 100. If they're at uh, moderately high risk, they should at least have an LDL less than 130. And uh, otherwise, uh, if they're moderate risk, their LDL should be less than 130, but they uh, don't necessarily require drugs for that. Less than 70, I think this is going too far. Uh, we put out a new guideline that gave a therapeutic option for ver very high-risk people where we set an LDL less than 70. It'd certainly be nice if we all had an LDL less than 70, but that would require a lot of treatment and to just to treat in primary prevention to such a low level is uh, really probably um, unnecessarily aggressive. However, even less than 100 uh, is not an automatic requirement for somebody that has two or more risk factors. It depends on their level of risk as determined by Framingham scoring. It would be nice if, if we had people at this level, but again, that could lead to too much drug treatment if we had all people with two or more risk factors to uh, be uh, at less than 100. Yeah.